morning everybody, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly videos right here on my YouTube channel and in this video I wanted to share with you another cool video tutorial using my 5 inch slicer to make a parallelogram block. Alright, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a parallelogram block using my 5 inch slicer and some 5 inch squares of fabric. Here is a little sample that I've been working on with the blocks so you can see the type of movement that you start to create in the quilt design. Let's get started with the video and I hope you enjoy. So the way it works is you want to stack up your 5 inch squares, pretty sides of the fabric facing up, and you can stack these guys as high as you feel comfortable cutting through with your rotary cutter. I'm just going to show you through two layers, but if you want to do just one, that's fine. Oftentimes, to save time, I can also crank out four of them at a time, so it just is a matter of personal preference there. But stack them up with the pretty sides facing up, and then we're going to take the 5 inch slicer and line it up so that the text here is upside down, so you're lining up the 2.5 inch edge furthest away from your body, and you're lining it up flush on three sides of your square. Okay, so you see here, here, and down here, it's all flush with my fabric. And then just take your rotary cutter and follow along the edge of the ruler. And that's all you're going to do. You're only making one cut edge for this block. So let me separate these out and show you what happens. So we are still going to be matching up this piece with the matching fabric of it, but look what happens. We're going to swap it to the other side. Instead of keeping it here where we have our square, if we do this, and line up the two straight edges and piece them together. Now we have a parallelogram. And that's because the sides here are parallel and the angles are equal because we used what? The set angle that's built into the five inch slicer. So you're now gonna match this up on the opposite side. You get this cool parallelogram shape. So now when you piece these all the way around in rows, you can get a really cool, more modern and more flowy type of quilt design in the finished quilt top. So let's head over to the sewing machine and piece these together and show you some variations on how you can piece these together in a quilt. So here we have our two blocks that we pieced together. Now to get this kind of seamless look, I find that it works best if you're using a solid fabric or some type of non-directional print so that the seam here when it's pieced together doesn't directly cut into say a really directional fabric um, like a, a motif or design or something that looks really obvious. So you can start to see here when I line these up the movement in the quilt design, okay? It's a lot more visually appealing, I find, and it looks a lot more modern. Now here's a quilt that I made. It's just a little sam sampling piece. It's not quilted yet, but just so you can see it in rows put together with the different parallelograms. This fabric is called Modern Neutrals, and a friend of mine, Amy Ellis, designed it for Moda Fabrics, and I find that something geometric like this really lends itself nicely um, to the design. If you're someone who really needs everything to be super matchy-matchy, then I would definitely recommend going with more solids because you can see the seam here cuts into it so it's cutting into the design of the repetitive um, d uh, motif that's in the actual pattern but I personally don't have a problem with it I think it looks fine after it's quilted and once you put together a whole big quilt I think it really lends itself nicely to the more modern aesthetic and um, I really like the way that this turned out and you can see that these are all the parallelograms. Now, when you start putting them together into rows, just be mindful of how you're ending your row, depending on how wide you want it to be. Because notice, because they're all at an angle, this starter piece here ends up being just the one side of my block, because we can't add this one to it. Remember, since each block starts off with an angle, right? So if you want a straight edge to your quilt top, you're going to have to line it up so that that's the edge that lines up and you have a straight edge there. Does that make sense? And you'll start to see it once you create your blocks and put it up on your design wall. So you can't add that piece to it because now it's giving you a slanted edge. So you just add basically pieces at the beginning and at the ends to square off the quilt so that you don't have to actually go in and cut and waste some of that fabric. Instead, go ahead and cut up some of the blocks the same way that you would, except you're just piecing the one individual piece onto the end so you get a nice straight edge to your quilt top. Okay, so real simple design, real great way also to use up your scraps. If you don't have pre-cut squares, go ahead and, and cut down your own fabric scraps. Once you cut them down, just cut them obviously to the five inch size and you can go ahead and start whipping up these different design ideas using the five inch slicer. So now let me show you a variation on the same parallelogram block, but instead of being made up of the same fabric for the entire unit, it's now being made up of two like you see here. So the same thing applies. Stack your squares, 
cut the same way that I showed you before, I sliced right here. Now you end up with these cuts, and instead of swapping this one over to the green and piecing it together to create the solid parallelogram, I'm now gonna swap it out with the other one. So instead, I'm going to take this one here and piece it together. So now you end up with a different unit, and this is now a parallelogram made up of two different fabrics. So you can imagine, now you have a whole other a variety of shapes to work with for your finished quilt design. So I think my ruler and working with these pre-cuts really lends itself nicely to scrappy projects that you can just crank out the same identical block uh, using the techniques that I've shown you here in an assembly line style, then light them up on your quilt uh, design wall and you can just start swapping out the different blocks and different units until you end up with an overall design that is pleasing to your eye. Alright, so that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make parallelogram blocks using my 5 inch slicer and some 5 inch square pieces of fabric. If you enjoyed the video tutorial, go ahead and hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites, and don't forget to click the subscribe button right there so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks again for watching. Remember to grab your 5 inch slicer. I've included the link below for you in the description box to head over to my online shop so you can snag one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.